Good morning. You're watching Sky News Overnight on Thursday, October the 25th. I'm Martine Dennis. The street are to be given mountain bikes to chase criminals. Squad cars apparently just can't get through the traffic. England swings like a pendulum do. Bobby's on bicycles two by two. Dixon of Dot Green on wheels, it isn't. These are state-of-the-art machines. They've been donated by the storeholders on what's been called the busiest shopping street in the world. Well, I think they're generally targeted at the illegal street traders, you know, the people that uh, stand outside Selfridges selling Dot perfume and, and fake jewellery. And the officers who may be doing the chasing are confident the bikes are up to the job. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll make the payments if we have to. Yeah. As well as two-wheeled chases, the officers will also be able to arrive on the scene of accidents more quickly. The police bikes are back in central London after a 20-year absence. But then these things tend to go in cycles. <laughs> this is one of the old bone shakers last used in the late 1960s. Although the new machines are up to date, the image of a police officer on a bike isn't. It's, it's usual, you know, Mickey taking, and once people get used to the idea, there'll be no real problem. No go faster strikes or jam sandwich or a blue hel light on a helmet? We're going to have blue lights on a helmet and we'll just switch a button and we'll, they'll see us more easily, I think. <laughs> the Metropolitan Police hope the new version will allow them to beat both the traffic and the thieves in the run-up to the Christmas shopping period. Tim Marshall, Sky News.